Hello and welcome to round five of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. Nick Fellows and Steve Jones in Liberty State Park and with a beautiful view of Manhattan City behind us. I'm happy to report that we've possibly witnessed the most exciting Red Bull Air Race of all time. The good news for a British pilot by the name of Paul Bonham is he's managed to take top position, 12 points, and maintain his lead at the top of the championship. Steve, I have to say there have been times and moments this week where we have questioned Paul Bonham's plane and even his flight flying skills. Yeah, we were worried. I, I would argue we weren't questioning him, his, his skills. We were certainly questioning whether he was feeling the pressure, uh, but certainly he sent a very firm message to us and to especially Hannes Ark. He wasn't feeling the pressure. Great flying from him. Great result. So Paul Bonham takes top position here in New York City. Hannes Ark has to settle for fourth spot after a dramatic pylon hit. Steve, was that the pressure or was that Hannes just pushing that a little bit too hard? Well, you've really got to go for it. If you're going to beat Bonham, you have got to fly without holding back. He was taking such a tight angle through that gate that really he couldn't get the airplane through, hit a gate. But you've got to push to win. And of course, if you calculate that penalty, if you take away those six seconds, he would have quite easily taken the victory here today. So a disappointment for Hannes Ark down in in fourth position. Congratulations to Bonham. Now, the other pilots on the podium include the second British pilot, Nigel Lamb. I think it's fair to say, Steve, Nigel's not had a happy time here in New York, but a very valuable 10-point score today. Yeah, absolutely. If you fly well and just allow the other guys to make the mistakes, that's what that's what happens. And Nigel knew he wasn't really on the pace. He couldn't match the pace of Hannes Ark and Paul Bonham. But if you get a penalty like Hannes Ark, Lamb's just going to sit there and mop up the points. Great second place for Nigel Lamb. And most importantly, he keeps his hopes alive for the possible championship of 2010 should Paul Bonham struggle when we head over to Europe. Third spot went to Kirby Chambliss, a delighted American crowd, Steve. Yeah, very popular a third place for Chambliss. That's a second, third position in a row for him. And he's really, you know, getting the absolutely last ounce of performance out of his aeroplane. So great, great result for him. No question of a doubt, something for everyone here in New York. Let's bring you right up to date with the full result of round five of the championship. So the confirmation of the British 1-2 in New York, Bonham in top position, Lamb the runner-up, Chambliss in third, Hannes Ark down in fourth. It's the third time this season Pete McLeod has finished in fifth position ahead of Ivanov, Gullion, Dejanier, McLean, Doldra, Shonka and Rachmanin in twelfth. Let's take a look at the World Championship standings and Bonham extends his lead over Hannes Ark by five points after his victory today. Lamb is in third position on 47. Kirby Chambliss holds on to fourth with 35. Then we see McLeod, Ivanov, Gullion and Matt Hall in eighth. And that's all we've got time for from New York City. It was tipped to be the biggest event of the season so far, and it's certainly delivered. From Nick Fellows here in Liberty State Park and Steve Jones, we head to Lausitz in Germany for round six of the tour on August the 8th. Until then, it's goodbye for now. Goodbye.